In this video, we're going to work through a problem on cost volume profit analysis, and that's also called break even analysis. So, the way I like to, to deal with cost volume profit analysis is to just do a lot of problems. And this is just one kind of longish problem, but you should be getting lots of repetition in, lots of problems in to get comfortable with how to deal with CVP analysis. So, let's read the question. Uh, it says ABC Company's projected contribution format income statement for the upcoming year is on the left side below. CVVP formulas are on the right. So I've, I've provided formulas. Your prof might not provide you formulas. They might give you a formula sheet. Whatever the case, you know this is. Uh, you know you might have to memorize them or you might be given them. But anyway, here's the income statement. Uh, so sales, variable expenses, contribution margin, fixed expenses, and net income. Of course, that doesn't look like our normal income statement with sales minus cost of goods sold equals gross margin minus operating expenses equals net income or income before taxes. The other thing I'll address here is I'm not going to deal with taxes in this problem. So if you've got problems that deal with taxes, that's an extra step, just an extra layer of complication. You'll have to figure it out on your own. Uh, these problems uh, that I work through will not have a tax effect, just to make things a little bit easier and quicker for the video. Anyway, when I read a question like this, I immediately do a few things. I immediately, if it's given me this much information, I'm actually trying to, if they haven't given me an income statement, I try to make one with the information they provide. I try to say, okay, well, how much sales are they projecting to have? And, you know, I try to figure it out. But at a minimum, I try to figure out the selling price per unit. And we can, right? We sold $3 million, or we're planning to sell $3 million worth of the stuff, and that's selling 60,000 units. That means per unit, our selling price is 50 bucks, right? 3 million divided by 60,000, that's 50 bucks. Uh, 1.2 million, if we're going to sell 60,000 units, our variable cost per unit is 20 bucks. 1.2 divided by 60 is 20. So 50 minus 20 is 30, and that's our contribution margin per unit. I should use a smaller, more fine pointed pen here. Uh, let's just hide this again. So again, I've got my sort of per unit column here. Doesn't seem like it's got much finer point, but anyway. Uh, the other thing I like to do is percentages. So our sales we set as 100%. Variable expenses divided by sales, 1.2 million divided by 3 million. Well, variable expenses represent 40%, and contribution margin, 60%. And those just come in handy. That con the sixty percent is actually our contribution margin ratio. But anyway, let's. Uh, we haven't answered any part of the question. I've just kind of said, "Oh, this is things I like to think about." And if they give us the unit amounts, but they don't give us the totals, I'll, I'll like to figure out the totals. But if I have this, when I start a problem on CVP analysis, I can pretty much do anything. Like if I have all of this stuff. And sometimes, you know, they only give you bits and pieces and you got to fill the rest in, but it's just helpful to get us off the ground. Anyway, let's see if we can figure this out and we'll, we'll kind of talk about each step as we go. So the first question says, calculate the sales price per unit. We've done it, 50 bucks a unit, and the variable expenses per unit. We've done that to 20 bucks a unit. So that was pretty easy. Compute the company's contribution margin ratio. Well, I'll look at the formula and you can see it's CM divided by sales and we actually already did it 1.8 million divided by 3 million is 60 percent uh, so again just to reiterate sales price is 50 variable expenses is 20 CM ratio is 0 0.6 and it's at 60 percent that we've already computed uh, so points A and B were very easy point C Compute the company's break-even point in units. Okay, break-even units. So let's see, we've got formulas here. We've got break-even, ah, there's one for break-even units. Uh, break-even dollars and some other amounts. Uh, break-even point in units. Fixed cost divided by CM per unit. Our fixed cost here, $1.3 million dollars divided by our contribution margin per unit and we have a per unit contribution margin of 30 oh I'm gonna get a very odd number 1.3 million divided by 30 oops it's an old question um, 1.3 million I wish they put commas in here I think that's one too many yeah 
divided by 30 equals 43, 33, 33, 33. So 4, 3, 3, 3. And you might think, oh, I got to round down. Well, with break-even point, you actually need to round up because it's the number of units. We sell 43, 30, 33. We're not technically breaking even. 43, 3, 34 is the point at which we break even. Um, and remember what break-even point means. Break-even point means the amount of units I need to sell to neither be making a profit or a loss. If I sell 43, 333.33333 units, I will be making zero profit. That's the point where I'm breaking even. So of course, as a company, it's a very important thing to know. I know if I'm this company, and this you can take a sober look at your company, you can say, is it likely I'm going to sell 43,000 units? If the answer is no, something about my company needs to change, right? Or I'm going to go out of business. So you can take a real cold, hard look at your company this way. And it's 43,000 per year. So I can say, okay, well, how much is that per month? 43,000 divided by 12 means, you know, 3,500 per month. Is that reasonable? 3,500 per month means I got to sell 110 units a day. Is that reasonable? And you can break it down that way. You can say, okay, am I going to move 110 units a day? Yes or no? And you can figure out very quickly whether your company is going to be in business or not. So last chapter, we learned how to break costs into their uh, uh, variable and fixed components. This chapter, we're actually going to use that. So we've broken our costs into variable and fixed components. We're going to use it to do powerful things. So the break-even point of 43,334 units is awesome to know. Uh, the question doesn't ask for it, but let's do the break-even point in dollars. We can do it two ways. We can take the break-even units, 43,334, times the sales price of 50 bucks, or we can take fixed cost divided by CM ratio. Let's do the second way. Our fixed costs are 1.3 million. Our contribution margin ratio is 0 0.6. 1.3 million divided by 0 0.6. 1300. Oh, 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 divided by 0.6 is 21,667. So we need to sell, how much was that? $2.1 million. And again, that's break even dollars. And all that tells us is if I sell $2.1 million worth of uh, stuff, uh, I'm going to be breaking even. 2.2 million, I make money. 2 million, I'm losing money. 2.166667, I will make a profit of zero. So again, it gives you an opportunity to look at a company and see how it's likely to be performing. Um, <laughs> next question. So we've done A, we've done B, we've done C, and I just added that break-even dollars to it for fun. Uh, calculate the company's margin of safety in dollars. Well, there's a formula down here called safety margin, and it's budget sales minus break-even sales. Our planned sales are three million. We're planning to make half a million dollars. See, we're above our break-even point, so we're making money. So we're planning to make three million. Our break-even sales in dollars is two point one six 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 six. So what do, what are we talking about here? Well, let's see. Three million minus oops, need three more zeros minus two comma one six six. 667 gives us 833333. So what does that tell us? $833,000. Um, it tells us that this company, based on our plan of selling $3 million worth of stuff, we can afford to be $833,000 off. We can afford to miss our target by $833,000, and we're still safe. We're not losing money. We're not at, you know, any, it's it's not a good thing to miss the target by $833,000, but it's not like we're losing money. So it just sort of says we've got $833,000 of wiggle room. Now, often you'll see it actually expressed not as a dollar, but as a percentage. So it says calculate the make, break even, uh, the company's margin of safety in dollars. Often you'll see it say calculate the company's margin of safety as a percentage. I'll do that really quick. Um, so let me just scroll down a little bit further. Windows 8 is funny. Uh, 833333. And we just divide that by our budgeted sales of 3 million 
and we'll express this number as a percentage. 833333 divided by 3 million. Divided by 3, oh, 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 oh. And I get 27.77%. So let's just say 28%. Use some round numbers here. Okay, so what does that 28% mean? It means my sales could fall 28% below my target, and I'm still breaking even. 27.7% below my target. So anyway, uh, we've answered the safety margin question. Uh, the next question asks, assume that next year management wants the company to earn a profit of $1.5 million. How many units must be sold to reach this target profit? Okay, so here's a formula for it. Let's see. This one. Uh, well, actually, is it looking for sales in dollars or sales in units? How many units? So it's looking for units. So if I were looking for dollar, I would use formula number eight, but I'm not. I'm looking at units. I'm going to use formula number seven. So I'm going to actually rewrite this down below. Assume that next year management wants uh, the company to earn a profit of $1.5 million. How many units have to be sold? So our fixed cost is $1.3 million. Well, actually, let's rewrite the formula. Sales in units equals fixed expenses plus target profit divided by CM per unit. So our company's fixed expenses were $1.3 million. Our target profit or our goal is to make a profit of $1.5 million. And our contribution margin per unit, we computed at the top, I think it was 30 bucks. Yeah, it was 30. So I get 2.8 million divided by 30 bucks. Again, I didn't plan this question well. No round numbers here. Start the calculator. 2.8 million divided by 30 is 93,334. So if I want to make 1.5 million, that's my target profit. I need to sell 93,334 units. If I sell less than that, I will fall short of my target profit. If I sell more than that, I will go over my target profit. But if I want to make 1.5 million dollars, I got to sell 93,000 units. Again, this is a good moment for a company to take a sober look at their business model and say, is this possible? Am I going to actually sell 93,000 units, or is this just a pie in the sky, a dream? Uh, if it is possible, great. If it's a pie in the sky, they got to change something about their business model. they got to make more contribution margin. They've got to sell more units. Something has to give and something has to change. Uh, otherwise, you know, it's nice to have goals, but if they're just unreasonable or unreachable, that's a problem. So this is a moment where a company can sort of say, hey, it, are my goals reasonable? Is this a rational pursuit? Um, okay, so we've answered parts A, B, C, D, E, F, uh, and E. In the next video, we're going to do F and G, and I'm actually going to add a part H to the problem. So when you download the problem, there will be a part H there. So uh, that's it for this video series. In the, the next section, we're going to finish this problem.